Well, hello again. It is May 5th, and we are in the New Testament, book of Luke, chapter 22, verses 47 through 71. And here we will read, While he was still speaking, behold, a crowd came, and the one called Judas, one of the twelve, was preceding them, and he approached Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said to him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? When those who were around him saw what was going to happen, they said, Lord, shall we strike with the sword? And one of them struck the slave of the high priest and cut his right ear, cut off his right ear. But Jesus answered and said, Stop, no more of this. And he touched his ear and healed him. Then Jesus said to the chief priests and officers of the temple and elders who had come against him, have you come out with sword and clubs as you would against a robber? While I was with you daily in the temple, you did not lay hands on me, but this hour the, and the power of darkness are yours. Having arrested him, they led him away and brought him to the house of the high priest. But Peter was following at a distance. After they had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and had sat down together, Peter was sitting among them. And a servant girl, seeing him as he sat in the firelight and looking intently at him, said, This man was with him too, but he denied it, saying, Woman, I do not know him. A little later, another, another saw him and said, You are one of them too. But Peter said, Man, I am not. After about an hour had passed, another man began to insist, saying, Certainly this man also was with him, for he is a Galilean too. But Peter said, Man, I do not know what you are talking about. Immediately while he was still speaking, a rooster crowed. The Lord turned and looked at Peter, and Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had told him. That had to be very uh, freaky to feel Christ looking at you at that moment. Before a rooster crows today, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. Now the men who were holding Jesus in custody were mocking him and beating him, and they blindfolded him and was asking him, saying, Prophecy, who is the one who hit you? And they were saying many other things against him, blasphemy. When it was day, the council of the elders of the people assembled, both chief priests and scribes, and they led him away to their council chamber saying if you are the Christ tell us but he said to them if I tell you you will not believe and if I ask a question you will not answer but from now on the son of man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God and they all said are you the son of God then and he said to them yes I am then they said what further need do we have of testimony for we have heard it ourselves from his own mouth. All right. Interesting as usual. That's the end of May 5th. Thank you. God bless. Hope to see you soon.